Pamela says, how safe is Advanced Pro? Well, you know, it's not able to answer a question of how safe something is. How safe is an airplane? How safe is a car? You know, generally, if people get in cars every day, I get in a car every day, so I say safe enough. And Advanced Pro is the same, safe enough. Now, whether you get in a car with somebody who's, a, who's drunk, or you get unlucky and a drunk driver hits you, it's not very safe. So in these kind of cases, uh, you know, for Advanced Pro primarily, we have to analyze your individual legal history. Have you had arrests before? Have you had issues? Uh, is there, are there warrants out for your arrest? So criminal stuff is the primary thing, but are there other inadmissibility issues that you have that you may not be aware of or understand or something like that? So once we clear that, some immigration lawyers are very strict. They won't even apply for Advanced Pro for their clients because they think it's not appropriate. I, I strongly, strongly, strongly disagree with that and I don't like that they do that. Um, I tell my clients if you need to travel, need to travel, avoid it. Um, it. Advanced parole, for those who don't understand, is special permission to be able to leave and come into the United States. Whereas if you normally just left and came back, um, you would not be allowed in again uh, or it would trigger some issues that could be problematic, to put it just a lightly nominal overview of it. Uh, but so with this permission for advanced parole for a travel, uh, I say only do it if there's a necessity, there's a, you know, a, a family reason, a business reason that's really important. Don't just travel with advanced parole. Um, but um, you know, it depends on your individual case, Samuel, and I have to analyze you. Even if I analyze the case, I could just say, hey, you know, I don't think it's going to be a problem. But at the end of the day, traveling and coming back into the United States, when you come back in and re-enter, it's up to the port officer, the Customs and Border Protection officer, whatever they want to do. And they can hassle you if they want to. They have full right to it at the end of the day. They have the, the law is behind them. And so, you know, it's something you just got to be mindful of if you want to take that risk or not. Thank you for watching this educational program. To get the latest videos, click the subscribe button and the notification bell icon. Also, help us help the immigrant community by liking this video and sharing it with your family and friends. You can also find us on other social media sites like Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, LinkedIn, and Twitter, where you find the latest updates on immigration news, policy changes, and tips. Be safe and God bless. See you soon.